Good day, Taurus, and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha, the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy, and this is your weekly reading for November 13th to the 19th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe Speak. Spirit's Guide, what needs to be known, what lessons need to be learned. Oh. Nine of Hearts, Seven of Hearts. Jack of Clubs and the Eight of Clubs. Okay. So your general energy this week is the Eight of Clubs. So, yeah, compromise. You're going to be making a compromise with somebody or multiple people because this is your energy the whole week. Uh, or you could be making a compromise with somebody and it takes a whole week to get through it, you know, uh, to figure out exactly what, you know, you want, what they want, you know, and especially because of this card, uh, the compromise is neither good or bad. It can be with your lover, but it can also be with a friend or a relative or whatever. It can be anybody. Um, but yeah, you need to be aware that you don't get the short end of the stick on this. Uh, now note the person that you're compromising with might not realize that they're giving the short end of the stick, you know, um, so don't come at them aggressively. Now, I'm not saying that people can't do that, you know, because there's plenty of people that will try to give you the short end of the stick to get the upper hand, but I'm just saying that not everybody is like that. So, you know, just for your own sake, don't come at them aggressively, you know, uh, just get the, the compromise done and over with as best as you can, as peaceful as you can, and uh, move on. So, yeah, that's, that's my advice on that. Uh, at the beginning of the week, you have a wish fulfillment coming in. Uh, love, happiness, and joy. Uh, but you have to be grateful for what you already have. You have to know that you're blessed and be grateful for how blessed you already are. You need to celebrate that, you know. And by celebrating that and knowing that you're blessed, you know, roof over your head. Oh, hold on. Let's go ahead and let this pass. Okay. Roof over your head. Food in your belly. Kids are fine. Job is okay. Blah, 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 blah. You know, you got, you know, what you need at this point in time. You need to realize how blessed you already are. And by doing so, that's going to bring you more love, happiness, and joy into your life. Um, in the middle of the week, you need to stop. You're doing too damn much. Uh, either you're just doing too damn much yourself, you know, having yourself do way too much. Uh, or you are doing too much for other people, or you're doing too much at work. Uh, you need to rethink your priorities. You need to cut that fat, cut off that fat, that stuff that you're doing too much, cut it off. Uh, regardless, you know, uh, if it's a person, they just, they're going to have to understand that you have your own priorities and you need to really think about them right now because they're lacking. And it's time for you to focus on one priority at a time. And then repeat that, you know, with the next priority and get that finished and out of the way. So, yeah, definitely cut the fat. You know, if you've got, you got just too much going on, you know, you need to cut it right now and deal with your actual priorities. At the end of the week, uh, looks like you've got an idea going on in your head. And, um, yeah, you need to take the risk on this idea. Uh, all you got to do is think and focus. That's it. You're you're ready to go. Just think and focus and go for it, whatever it is, any idea. It doesn't matter what kind of idea it is. It could be multiple ideas, honestly. But if you have a big idea, uh, and this could be throughout the whole week, um, you know, it's just like, you know, building throughout the whole week or something. Uh, but if it's a big idea, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Any idea. Go for any idea at the end of the week. Um, but be careful. There is a player. There is somebody that does not want you to do this. They want you to, 
um, back off of it. You know, they want to throw a monkey wrench into it. So, and this can be, this person can be part of the fat that you need to cut off. Uh, this person could be the person that you're making the compromise with. I apologize for the kitty. Um, so yeah, this can be, this person could be both. This person could be the fat and the person that you're compromising with. And you might be compromising over your idea. That might be what you're compromising about. Um, so I mean, maybe they do know that they're trying to give you the short end of the stick. But the, the fact is, is that you still come calm, collective, and, you know, polite and all that shit. Don't just be like, well, I was uh, going over this and it looks like if you know, such and such, you know, and I do such and such, that means that I lose out here, you know, don't, don't come at them all, you know, cussing and swearing, you know, uh, because some people might not really know that, that they're giving you the short end of the stick, but you do have a player here, and a player would definitely give you the short end of the stick, so, anyway, let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards have to say about this. Are you going to get down, or are you just going to stand there? Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? And that card is the High Priestess. Yeah. There is no roof over her head. She has many ideas in her head. And and since there's no roof, there's no it's endless. Her her ideas and imagination is endless. There is no limit to your your ideas at this point in time. And you're knowledgeable. You know things. You might need to learn some some other things, but you're knowledgeable enough to do whatever it is, the idea that you have in your head. Uh, but you might need to learn a little bit more, but you can really capture whatever this is whatever whatever ideal you have you can capture it just as her dress is capturing the moon you can capture this ideal and and make it work and it's limitless you, there's limitless ideas coming out of your head at this point i think especially at the end of the week or maybe the whole week this might be the whole week you know you might just be heading into something grander you know for yourself and i think this ideal has a lot to do with it uh so yeah during a compromise make sure that you don't get the short end of the stick right but make sure also to go to the person about the short end in a calm manner um at the beginning of the week make sure that well this you should always be grateful for what you already have you know that's just basics, you know, if you're grateful that you're blessed and you know what you're blessed with and you really are appreciative of it and you celebrate it, then you should always be having more happiness, love and joy in your life. So, but this one's just saying, especially at the beginning of this week, um, and stop, uh, stop doing so much for, for other people, for your job for you know even yourself you know sometimes we run ourselves ragged on stuff and you need to stop and cut that fat and focus on the real priorities uh and and one of your real priorities would be this idea you know it's limitless man uh so yeah all right uh just beware of that player which i think the player is the person with the compromise and i feel like it's gonna work out just fine i don't i don't I don't know. I just feel like it's going to work out fine, uh, even though this is a player and somebody that doesn't want you to do something that you you want to do. Uh, I still think it's going to work out fine, especially if you go to this person calmly, you know. Um, anyway, so there you go. I hope it resonates. And if it does, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.